they are this type of people who uh, almost like you can't live without them. And at the same time, mm. they drain you of your energy. So you're left so, between... So, uh, yeah, that's where the canceling thing comes goals. in. If you have people like that in your life who are bringing you down, mm. you used to be better. Mm. Now you're going worse. Mm. Like I said, they are also spiritual identity thefts. Mm. They can use your information to do anything they want to do. Mm. They can go as far as taking your name to a voodoo person to destroy you mm. in order to be you. Mm. So they want, to, they want to flag you mm -hmm. to your face mm -hmm. and see you become nothing. Mm. So, uh, do you understand yeah, I mean, that I particular phrase? Yes, I understand okay. What you are dreaming to become, they want to become that person mm -hmm. and see you become nothing. Yes. So, so they want to live your life. They want to live your life. That's basically it. And see, and you, see you watch them live your life. Ha. Yeah. And then they flag your own life mm -hmm. to your face like, oh, you know, you're nobody. Mm. I'm now this. Yeah. This is what you wanted to be. I'm now this person. But these people should yeah. be easy to get rid of. If truly you identify them, how then do they become necessary evils? Where if they are part, it doesn't add anything. If they are not to, you can't let them go. How do the they truth is, they don't even care about their life to mm. start with, because they have identity crisis to mm. start with. Mm. Someone who doesn't know who is, <laughs> mm. yeah. like, they don't know who they are, right. and uh, they don't even care to know who they are. Mm. All they want to be is. Me, you, the next person, and everybody around. So if such so a person like, is your wife or your girlfriend or your boyfriend or your husband, uh, what would be the advice? Get rid of him or keep him? Oh, to get rid of them as, uh, as quickly as possible because mm. you have to get them off your energy. Mm. Otherwise, they keep sucking off you. Mm. Yeah, like they're parasites. Mm. So uh, most people find it hard. It's just like someone who is dating a narcissist. Mm. It's so difficult to leave a narcissist because they keep coming back to beg you. Mm. You understand? They mm. keep coming back to say, oh, I'm sorry. Or they, they, they'll claim the, 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 the blame. They accept. Just, the they'll accept they the blame just to, for you to get them in. Remember, mm. they can't do without your energy. Right. So they need to always be around you mm. in order to keep taking your ideas, mm -hmm. using your ideas mm. to live their life. Seeing what you want to do the next minute, mm. copycat it, mm -hmm. and go use it. So these type of people, when you're trying to stay away from them, they keep coming. So in this case, they make it difficult to get rid of. Yes. Because they do not want to go away from you. Mm -mm. They need your energy. They That's why we energy. call them energy vampires. Energy vampires. Yeah. Yes. Some of them, they see uh, some ladies. Mm. They, they like to go into a relationship with ladies that have it going. Mm. They're not coming because they love you. Mm. They're coming to drain you off your energy. Now you're talking about the men. The, yes. The, the male, va the male, va uh, the male <laughs> version of it. Yeah. They just want to come into your life and mm. suck you off your energy and see you go down. Mm -hmm. They come, all they want to do is see how they can find out about all you are doing. Yeah. Your dealings. Your dealings. Yeah. What do you do? Mm. So they, 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 they come in like, mm -hmm. like love, uh, love like, yeah. yeah. But that's not what their, the, their uh, mission is. is. Yeah. Their mission is to come take your identity mm -hmm. and become you mm. and make you empty. So they just keep going and doing that. And doing that. Yeah. Taking and taking and taking. That's it. So the, the, the solution to mm. this problem is to get rid of them. Right, vibes in five Ghana is first social media celeb talk show. The name Arnold Mensal Avenue. You can always call me. Bro, you see me? Big shouts to Eddie Dazekins going out to you. Sat legend Van Tomiko Brown, Desmond. Um, yes, another episode of uh, Spiritual Conversation continues here. I've got a first time appearance, you know, guest on Vibes in Five. She goes by the name The Empress. And we're about to talk about vampires, energy vampires, and the chosen one energy vampires and the chosen one. So you're wondering what vampires have got to do with energy and what it has to do with the chosen one. So 
whether it's going to be a religious conversation, spiritual conversation, or uh, an academic conversation, we're going to find out from the Empress. But mind you, we're going to be putting out a lot of information here, what you do with the information, and the outcome is entirely your cup of tea, and you'll be fully responsible for the outcome. Vibes in five, the crew, the host, will not be held liable for that. So please take note, and let's be on the same page as we delve into it. The Empress, you're welcome. Thank you, Anno. Yes. How are you? I'm good. When you mentioned energy vampires and the chosen one, I asked, ah, but are they going to suck your energy? <laughs> <laughs> what does it go? Because we know vampires <laughs> deal with blood. Yeah. But this time, absolutely. energy. Yeah. What kind of people are the chosen ones, first of all? Yeah, the chosen ones are spiritually gifted mm. people who are specially selected by the divine for a mission mm. and for a special purpose. Those ones are the chosen ones. The chosen but, ones. But I mean, every one of us would pass to be a chosen one because as related to the supreme being we're all here for a special purpose or that purpose is not enough to make all of us special ones yeah that's why i said they're spiritually gifted people spiritually gifted who people. are specially selected by mm. the divine mm. for a mission and a special purpose okay yeah. so what kind of gifts within this spiritual you know circles would pass to make someone a chosen one yeah, these are people who possess supernatural powers, uh, mostly psychic abilities. Mm. And uh, they are mostly the ones that um, a lot of people label, a.k.a. witches. Right. And um, old souls, star seeds, mm. mariners, mm. Uh, a.k.a. <laughs> water spirit people. Water spirit, mommy water. Uh, yeah, <laughs> because these people uh, possess supernatural powers. Mm. Uh, which deals with mostly psychic abilities right? that um, a normal person would not have. How about people who learned it? Because I know witchcraft is taught in some circles. Such people, would they also pass to be um, chosen ones after they've acquired it through the learning process? Well, we'll talk about um, spiritually gifted mm. and supernatural beings. Uh, we would be talking about those type of witches who mm. have uh, the witchcraft in their bloodline. Mm. It's, it is ancestral. Mm. It is in their DNA. Mm. It passes from generation to generation in their family. Mm. So uh, this type of witches are the type of witches that at some point in their lives, the power and the ability activates itself in their system. Mm. And auto automatically they begin to manifest those abilities without mm. anyone teaching them. Mm. So when you talk about the other type of witchcraft which people get initiated mm. into it, they do not possess such abilities before mm. uh, the witchcraft uh, power has been, you know, they get possessed by the witchcraft powers. Mm. So there are two different... There are two different types. Yeah, types of witchcraft. And do all the two different types fall within the chosen one's no. bracket? or it's only those who are spiritually gifted that have it in their bloodlines, they fall within the um, it is gifted those, ones. Yeah, it is those that have it mm. in their DNA mm. that could be um, qualified to be a chosen one. They because, could be qualified to be a chosen yes, one. Yes, that's because uh, they possess psychic abilities mm. which is also under supernatural powers mm. and uh because uh, that can it is also not be something learned, right psychic abilities uh, that's what i'm saying yeah. because it's in their system mm. it activates itself automatically and they manifest these abilities without anyone teaching them but can't it also be acquired outside the bloodline psychic abilities um because someone is a witch doesn't mean that they possess psychic abilities those are the type where mm they want the energies and then uh, they get initiated into it. Mm. So it's like a one-way thing. Mm. Either you're just using this power because you want to do astral travel. Mm -hmm. doesn't necessarily mean that you possess psychic abilities. When we talk about psychic abilities, we're talking about abilities such as clairsentience, meaning mm. you feel something, mm. you feel it. 
when somebody's here, you can feel their energy. Mm. You can understand what they're thinking without them even talking. Mm. You can, uh, th those abilities also deal with like telepathy, mm. which means that you can be communicating with another person without the both of you talking. Mm. Yeah, you can understand what mm. they are they're saying. Like maybe like a spirit person is here. Mm. They can understand what the spirit person is saying or even in their dreams, they can telepath without even opening their mouths to talk. And then uh, when we talk about clairvoyance, that mm. means you know things before they happen. You see things before they happen, either right. in your dream or through visions. Right. So, uh, and when we talk about astral travel, these people travel uh, astrally, naturally through their dreams. Mm. Uh, that is something that, you know, a normal person cannot possess mm. as an ability. Mm. You can sleep and uh, you just sleep. <coughs> But when these people sleep, they astral travel to another realm. Mm. They can sit down, they can astral travel. When you talk about the people who can, who practices like, uh, you're talking about the type of witchcraft now that is being initiated. Yeah, that people practice, uh -huh. like, like psychic, you're saying. So you must be born a psychic. You can't yeah. be born and later acquire psychic abilities, based on your explanation. I, yes, you, it is in the blood. The it psychic ability is in the blood, blood. blood. is in the DNA. Right. Yeah. You can't so acquire it. it. People try to practice it, but it cannot, it, it cannot be something that you practice. Mm. The, those abilities are not the type of abilities that you practice. Mm. No. It is inbuilt. Mm. It is natural. Right. Yeah. You can't teach people how to feel another person's intention. Mm. You can't teach people how to see things before it happens. Mm. That that's you so, can't teach people how to no, do that. No, you can't. No, you and there's no power that you that. can give to someone to activate mm. that aspect of them. Yes. Is there a power? That's the one we are talking about. That's now, the that's one we're the talking one about. The one they initiate people, but yeah, it's not all of them they can possess. Probably just just a few of them. A few. But because of few, what they need it for. Yeah, but uh, the few that would be able to get it, would they be able to use it completely as the one who was born with no. it? No, okay. it cannot be. It cannot no. be. No. I see. Okay, so then, now we know who the chosen ones are. Mm -hmm. Where does the vampire come in? An energy vampire is um, it's a negative, energetic person who leaves off the energy of the chosen ones. Okay. So these people, if they understand or know that someone is a chosen one, mm. they try to tap from your energy by uh, most times they're being like jealous, mm -hmm. envious. Mm. They just want to be like you. Mm. So uh, these are type of the people who call narcissists, mm. okay, who leaves off other people's energy. energy. They're like parasites. Right. Ha. Huh. So uh, when we say energy vampires, mm. it's just like when there's always like this positive power mm -hmm. that operates in this life for a purpose. They have a mission here on earth, mm. like the star seeds, for instance, mm -hmm. they have a mission here on earth. The energy vampires mostly go after such people. It's almost like one energy is working positively mm -hmm. in order to, you know, manifest something. Mm -hmm. And there's another energy that goes after this energy mm -hmm. to destroy whatever they are trying to do. So, so the purpose is just to destroy. They yeah. feed off your energy to destroy it. They don't yes. use it for anything else? Um, it can be both ways. Right. In the sense that um, an energy vampire mm. can be... Uh, a spiritual identity theft. Right. I would say that yeah. that's another word. Spiritual identity, identity theft. theft. Right. It's like someone living off your own identity. Mm -hmm. They see you. Mm -hmm. uh, that's not their life purpose. That's not their life path. Mm -hmm. But they, they just want to be like you. Mm -hmm. They want to do everything they're doing. Mm -hmm. In otherwise, uh, otherwise, mm -hmm. that creates an identity crisis. Right for this type of energy vampires because they have no identity. Right. They don't even know where they belong. Mm. They want to be like somebody else who does better. Mm. They want to steal your glory. Mm. They want to steal your gifts. They want to see how they can 
is if they can't possess your abilities mm -hmm. as chosen ones, mm -hmm. as people who have supernatural powers, what they do is to see how they can destroy that power. Right. Cover it and see how you will not be able to manifest. Right. So it, it's like they, they derive joy from sucking your energy. Mm -hmm. They can be in a relationship with somebody mm -hmm. And uh, when they come into your life, the kind of signs and symptoms that you mm -hmm. uh, you will uh, start experiencing mm -hmm. is uh, things starts going down for you. Mm. That is because they are living off your energy. But these vampires are they aware that they are vampires, or sometimes they don't even know that um, they're vampires. That's why we are even discussing this. Mm -hmm. Most times they don't even know. They don't even know. No. So. Let's say we're in a relationship, I'm the vampire, but, mm -hmm. and things are going down for you. And I don't even know I am the cause of your destruction as the vampire. Okay, I'll put it this way. Not like they don't know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. They know what they're doing, but they don't know that they're energy vampires. Right. Uh, their, their goal is to go after you and bring you down. Their goal is to see themselves become like you. Mm -hmm and you become nothing. So at least they know they are destroyers. Yeah, they, uh, because uh, first of all, they have uh, envious spirits, mm -hmm. they have uh, jealousy spirits, mm -hmm. they, they have, um, they're never satisfied, they just want to be like somebody else. Mm. It doesn't matter if they see like five good people who are doing good, who have these abilities, who manifest great things. They want to be like all of you. Mm. So that's what the identity, uh, identity crisis yeah, yeah, comes crisis in. Comes in. Like you, people who doesn't know who they are mm -hmm. and they just want to be like every other person. They don't have a purpose. Mm. Identity theft. Mm. If they see Mr. A mm. doing great, mm. they want to be like Mr. A and they want to have everything that Mr. A has. Mm. And the moment they see Mr. B, mm. you see them trying to be become like Mr. B, Mr. As, B, as, B well. as well. And it continues like it, that. It's just like that. Mm. Like a copycat. So anytime yeah. they try to clone you, mm -hmm. I mean, so to speak, does it down your spirit? Does it down your power? Because then if um, being clairvoyant is in, in it, mm -hmm. I was born with it, I, I was born a psychic and everything else, should it be easy for someone to kill that after I was born with it? Um, these people can't have, they, they cannot have, access to you mm. if they are not close to you right so they they are people that are very close to you mm. they are around you mm. it's either it's always like a relationship mm. you can have them as a brother or a sister mm. so they're within the family mm. it's either you're dating this person mm. or they may you may even end up marrying this type of people and all they do is just kill your glory mm. uh you you try to do something instead of them to praise you that mm. you're doing great mm. they trash you Mm. They, they bring you down with words. Mm. So uh, no matter how strong you are, when mm. people begin to do things like that to you, they're sucking your energy and you start feeling bad. You can't function right. Mm. You're always sitting down thinking, mm. feeling like you're not doing good enough mm. because uh, these are energy vampires sucking your energies every day. Mm. Uh, either by using words to bring you down, mm. being jealous of anything you're doing. You buy a car, for instance, mm. they see your car, uh, they are envious of mm. your car. Before you wake up, they can scratch your car. And just, you know, just and because they, they, they can want just, things to go wrong with exactly, you. Exactly, because they can have that thing. And then the next thing you see mm. is uh, even though they know they can't compete with you mm -hmm. for the type of abilities and um, let's say the, the type of blessings mm -hmm. that you know, always comes to you. All they do is um, they try their best to see how they can have even, let's say you have a Range Rover. Mm. Let's put that for instance. Right. They can't have a Range Rover, mm. but you, for, just for the fact that you have a white Range Rover, mm -hmm. what they do is they go buy another SUV mm -hmm. that is white. Are, are you getting what yeah, I'm trying to say? Yeah. Uh, so it's like a, comp a, a competition. continuous competition between you and between them. Between you and them. Mm. You see it in them that these people are trying to be like you. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it's kind of energy draining. Yeah, it drains your energy. It drains your energy to yeah. see you, to see somebody else mm. trying to be like you so by all means. to be like you. Exactly. And right. uh, anything you do, mm. 
It's like you can't talk around these people because mm. when you talk around them, they, 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 they pick, pick your it, conversation yeah. and they're trying to use your conversations against you. Mm. Yeah, by, you know, going behind you mm. to mess up your plans. So is it spiritual? These people, are they possessed by some spirits to do what they're doing or is it just attitudinal? But, well, it's demonic to me. <laughs> it is very demonic. Because you, know, you could have a, an envious person, true and true, mm -hmm. and it might not be spiritual. Or the, the, the act of envy is spiritual? Well, they go as far as wanting you dead, mm -hmm. this type of people. Yeah. So that's why I say it's demonic. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason we're talking about this mm -hmm. is to redirect people mm -hmm. by our own spiritual canceling right when people don't know their life path mm. they start jumping from one life path to another mm. thereby wasting their time mm. living other people's life and it doesn't work for them that's because if you are someone full with idea mm -hmm. and uh, this type of people are around you mm. Immediately you conceive an idea, you discuss it around them, they take your idea behind you, they go use it. Mm. Even though they don't have the complete, um, they, they can navigate themselves, uh, you know, to the complete. Mm. So they make a mess out of it. They make a mess Bottom out of line. it. They take it, yeah. they destroy it. They go, they make it, they make it happen. It's just mm -hmm. like, let me, let me give you an instance. Right. I'm discussing around you. I created a plan. Mm. Um, I want to open up a boutique. Mm. Just say, for instance, right. and they listen to you. They're not going to tell you they want to open up a boutique. Mm -hmm. They just, oh, wow, that's nice. Oh, wow, that's good. And then the next thing you see, the next month, they have opened the boutique. Yeah. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> and let's say you guys all have the same group of friends. Mm. So now they have taken your idea, mm -hmm. they have used They've your used idea, yeah. and they have killed your own idea. Mm. So imagine somebody who has the same group of friends with you, mm -hmm. uh, creating, no, taking out your own idea mm. and using it. Mm -hmm. So the person has left you mm. empty, yeah. handicapped. Mm. So now you want to open a boutique, you're opening the same boutique for the same group of people. Then you become so, a copycat. Exactly, mm. apart from that, mm. You wouldn't want to even do that anymore, right. first of all. Now they have two boutiques in the community mm. for the same group of group friends. Of they have killed your business. Mm. So they, they just keep doing that to you. Uh -huh. sure. is that, that, is you're that... sucking your energy because <laughs> how, they are copycats. How do you get rid of them? Um, uh, how do you get rid of them is mm. also true canceling because it's very difficult. They're like parasites. Mm. To pull them out of your energy is very difficult. Mm. They are this type of people who uh, almost like you can't live without them. And at the same time, mm. they drain you of your energy. So you're left so, between... Uh, yeah, that's where the canceling thing evils. comes in. If you have people like that in your life who are bringing you down, mm. you used to be better. Mm. Now you're going worse. Mm. Like I said, they are also spiritual identity thefts. Mm. They can use your information to do anything they want to do. Mm. They can go as far as taking your name to a voodoo person to destroy you mm. in order to be you. Mm. So they want to they flag you mm -hmm. to your face mm -hmm. and see you become nothing. Mm. So, uh, do you understand yeah, that yeah, particular understand phrase? It. Yes, I understand okay. it. What you are dreaming to become, they want to become that person mm -hmm. and see you become nothing. Yes. So, so they want to live your life. They want to live your life. That's basically it. And, and see, you, and see you watch them live your life. Uh -huh. yeah. And then they flag your own life mm -hmm. to your face like, oh, you know, you are nobody. Mm. I'm now this. Yeah. This is what you wanted to be. I'm now this person. But these people should yeah. be easy to get rid of if truly you identify them, how then do they become necessary evils? Where if they are part, it doesn't add anything. If they are not to, you can't let them go. How do the they truth is they don't even care about their life to mm. start with because they have identity crisis to mm. start with. Mm. Someone who doesn't know who, <laughs> mm. <laughs> they, like, are. they don't know who they are. Right. And uh, they don't even care to know who they are. Mm. 
all they want to be is me, you, the next person, and everybody around. So if such so a person like, is your wife or your girlfriend or your boyfriend or your husband, what would be the advice? Get rid of him or keep him? Oh, to get rid of them as, okay. as quickly as possible because mm. you have to get them off your energy. Mm. Otherwise, they keep sucking off you. Mm. Yeah, like they're parasites. Mm. So uh, most people find it hard. It's just like someone who is dating a narcissist. Mm. It's so difficult to leave a narcissist because they keep coming back to beg you. Mm. You understand? They mm. keep coming back to say, oh, I'm sorry. Or they, they, they'll claim the, 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 the blame. They accept. Just the they'll accept they the blame just to, for you to get them in. Remember, mm. they can't do without your energy. Right. So they need to always be around you mm. in order to keep taking your ideas, mm -hmm. using your ideas mm. to live their life. Seeing what you want to do the next minute, mm. copycat it mm -hmm. and go use it. So these type of people, when you're trying to stay away from them, they keep coming. So in this case, they make it difficult to get rid of. Yes. Because they do not want to go away from you. Mm -mm. They need your energy. They That's why we call energy. them energy vampires. Energy vampires. Yes. Yeah. Some of them, they see uh, some ladies. Mm. They, they like to go into relationship with ladies that have it going. Mm. They're not coming because they love you. Mm. They're coming to drain you off your energy. Now you're talking about the men. The, yes. The, the male, va the male, va uh, the male yeah. version of it. Yeah. They just want to come into your life and mm. suck you off your energy and see you go down. Mm -hmm. They come... All they want to do is see how they can find out about all you are doing. Yeah, your dealings. Your dealings. Yeah. What do you do? Mm. So they, 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 they come in like... Mm -hmm. Like uh, love. Like, yeah. yeah, but that's not what their, their uh, mission is. is. Yeah. Their mission is to come take your identity mm -hmm. and become you mm. and make you empty. So they just keep going... And doing that. And doing that. Yeah. Taking and taking and taking. That's it. So the, the, the solution to mm. this problem is to get rid of them. So what happens when they are done with you? What do they do? These vampires. They never get done with you. They never get because, done with uh, you. Because you are there. It's like, <laughs> just like when vampires, the real blood vampires mm. live on Other people. Uh, blood. Mm. Yeah. So they are always there. They, they're not ashamed. Like, they, they don't feel ashamed to keep coming back. Mm. Yeah. They don't feel ashamed and to they keep never coming get back. Done. They ask you, how do you have this ability? Mm. How do you know things before it happens? Mm -hmm. When you feed them mm -hmm. of this information, information yeah. they go behind you to see how they can, you know, destroy it. Wow. Oh, yeah. Because they can't be that thing. Mm. So you can have it. Mm -hmm. They can have it. That's their. They can't have yeah, it. Yeah, that's their, their mindset. Their mindset. If, yeah. you, if you can't, if we if can't we have, can it, have it, you shouldn't have if it. If we can't tap that particular energy, right. then we would destroy it. So that you can't have it. You too. can't have it. They, they don't want to see you shine. That is a wicked thing. Yeah, that's why I say they are demonic in nature. Hmm. They're very demonic. Can prayer stop them? Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> well, today they say we shouldn't laugh. So. <laughs> Prayers, mm. yes, absolutely. Prayers, Prayers can, can solve. solve that. Mm. That's where the, the spiritual work comes in. Mm. Because most women or men are living with this type of people. Mm. Yes, in a relationship most mm. times. Mm. And these people don't know how to walk away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's almost like they have this energy mm. to... to Glue you glue. They are like to themselves. Leeches. They are there. Yeah. So most times you can feel and, and understand mm. that this person is demonic. This person you. is evil. Mm. This person is dragging you down. Mm. This person is draining you off your energy. This person is destroying you. But you don't know. You can't leave them. Mm. You can't leave them because they have made it so. They have made or it. Or you so. love them so much, you can't uh, 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 leave That's them. what I'm saying, that they are demonic. There's mm. just uh, something mm. about them. What I'm saying now, if the viewers can, yeah, some many can people relate. can relate to yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Some can relate. Exactly. So are there certain things about these vampires that make it, you know, easy for you to also get stuck to them? Maybe the person is draining you of everything you have. 
that they have a character yes. that you so much are in love yes. with. And because of that single thing, mm -hmm. it's difficult to let them go. Most or they provide you with something that keeps you also stuck to them. Most times, these are very attractive people <laughs> in nature. Yeah, I see. You know, you know when they say the devil wears Prada. Yeah. yeah, yeah they, they, they. So they are mostly attractive, attractive people. So you don't want to lose that fine. There are some people who, you know, uh, like you just said, mm. some people feel like, oh, uh, I don't want to lose this person mm. because at first when they come into your life, mm. uh, there's this um, kind of behavior mm. that they portray mm. when they come into your life you will know that these are these are the these are their purpose yeah. you know they come in like real friends mm. real lovers mm. and when you are already deep into it so they get you to fall deep yeah into it, then they flip yes it's just like somebody who says uh the, you know you have a canoe that you're using to transport people right uh, across the the water or right. the sea mm. and then these people get into the canoe mm. or the boat mm -hmm. and uh, you don't ask for the money you don't ask for payment yeah and, and these people don't even know how much they have to pay mm. and they just think oh it's it's just a boat yeah uh, you know we we know that it won't go beyond this particular Excellent. amount or yeah. whatever the case may be mm. or you know you already know what they pay mm -hmm. and then you get to the middle of the water mm. and they say uh, everybody pay your money and you are trying to pay, they say, oh, no, that's not the amount you have to pay. Mm. And they, they, they kind of triple, triple the amount. It, quadruple it. And uh, you get upset, like, no, that's not the They say, calm down mm. in the middle of the water. Mm. How, how do you calm down in the middle of the water? No, you stay <laughs> so that, that's how the type of relationship that you have with this kind of people, mm. you know, it, it, that's the pattern that's, that so, it takes. So yeah. right from the beginning, they have a grand plan. Yes. So they draw you in mm -hmm. to the point where they know you, it will be difficult to get back. That's then it. Then they, they start showing they start you their sucking true your colors. energy. Yeah. Wow. They start sucking your energy. So uh, the reason we're discussing this mm -hmm. is to make people know out there that if you are experiencing this type of people mm -hmm. in your life, mm -hmm. there's help for you. Right. Yeah. There is help for you. There's counseling for you. Uh, there are other types of spiritual uh, works that can be done for you, mm. for you to pull yourself out of their energy. Mm. Uh, because most times, after they have drained you and used you, mm -hmm. it is like you going back to start from square one. Mm. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, and for those people that are energy vampires, mm -hmm. who didn't know that they are energy vampires. We're giving all the signs and, you know, this... Signs and, you know... You understand? Uh, this character traits for you yeah, to know, you who, to you know are, who you are. That you are vibrating on your low mm. and you need help. So these vampires can also repent through counseling? So if I, I identify... Directed yeah, into based on our conversation that, mm -hmm. okay, so I'm an energy vampire, but I want to stop. Mm -hmm. Can I be guided to stop? Of course, when people need help, mm. that's when they call for help. Right. It's just like someone who is taking drugs. Mm. When you're taking drugs, you can't be helped until you're ready to be helped. To be helped. Yes, but yeah. when they are ready, is there help? Yes, Yeah. there that's, is help. F so both ways, there is help. Yeah. The one who's being drained and mm -hmm. the drainer. So, yes, uh, because... Uh, we, I'm a diviner, All right. and uh, the most part of my divination is to show you your life path, mm. is to show you what your purpose is. Mm. And when you know your purpose, you, you don't need to be a copycat with everyone. Right. You don't need to become an energy vampire who goes around like everybody. Mm you would follow your life path. Right. Yeah, because many people don't know their life paths. They just want to be Mr. A, they want to be Mr. B, Mr. they want B. to be Mr. C, they want to be, so, they want to be everybody. So they become vampires by mistake? Yeah, energy vampires. Yeah. They become energy vampires yes. by mistake? Yes. Because they energy don't know what suffers. they are up to? They don't, yeah, because they have lost their identity. Mm. They have identity Crisis. issues. Yeah. So you can help them get back on track? Uh, 
We will try. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, let's get contact details and uh, location, and then we wrap up here. Um, my California number is plus one four two four three zero three zero four three seven. My Ghana number is plus two three three nine five mm. oh, two three three five four mm. nine five zero five four six eight. Okay. Again, my num uh, Ghana number is plus two three three five four nine five zero five four six eight. Right. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. The Empress is the name, a diviner, and we touched on energy vampires and the chosen ones. I are you one of the chosen ones? <laughs> <laughs> I guess you can so. say so. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, so then you're dealing with the chosen one. Yeah, I've got a few vampires around me, but I'm, mm -hmm. I'm looking at them and I'm, I'm unable to tell which of this is the most wicked one. <laughs> <laughs> but I like it like that. <laughs> anyway, so now you look around you and identify those energy vampires. Let's let's see if we can all be practical here. Mm -hmm. You might not be able to mention names under the comment section but if you're if you feel you can mention go uh, go ahead and mention but if you can describe who you think is your energy vampire maybe it's your partner your brother a friend in high school you know someone you've been with before and so that we can all relate to what you have been through and what we're also going through for you know i have my energy vampire that i haven't even realized yet well, with, with the kind of you know education we've had from here when you sit back and you watch the character traits would be able to pinpoint them and say, okay, you could be one, you could be one, you could be one. There's help for you. So um, should you call, ask every single question that you would want to ask. I might not be able to ask all the questions. Maybe there are certain questions you would love to ask that I didn't ask. If you happen to give her a call, ask her, and I'm sure you would explain things deeply to them. Mm -hmm. All right, my name is Arnold Benz. I have a big shout out to Edith Azekins, uh, Legend, Sad Vani, Tomiko, Brown, Desmond, and the rest of you out there. We out.